Hi, I'm Pat Buchanan with RV Life. Uh, with all the excitement over the integration of RV Trip Wizard and the RV Life app, uh, we really haven't done a focused broadcast on the app itself. Uh, today we'll do just that. We'll start by looking at the most frequent questions we have about the RV Life GPS and Campgrounds app. First, let's understand the products we're talking about. RV Life Pro is the suite of software tools that includes RV Trip Wizard, the RV Life GPS and Campgrounds app, and Maintain My RV. RV Trip Wizard is the web-based trip planning tool you log into with the web browser on your computer or a large tablet. The RV Life GPS and Campgrounds app is an accompanying app that is included in the RV Life Pro subscription. You download it from the App Store and you run it on your GPS-enabled mobile device. It can read the RV Trip Wizard trips you have planned, or it can act in an ad hoc function on its own, uh, helping you find an RV safe route to a local campground, for instance. Maintain My RV is a web-based maintenance tracking tool that you log into with your web browser as well. Together, these all make up what is known as RV Life Pro. In today's vernacular, everything is referred to as an app, but this isn't always accurate. Uh, for our purposes today, when we talk about the app, uh, we are exclusively referring to the RV Life mobile app that runs on your mobile device, your GPS-enabled mobile device. Uh, everything else is considered a browser-based or web-based program or application. Uh, it may seem like we're splitting hairs here, uh, but given the confusion over this topic, uh, it's best if we just lay it out clearly. We're going to look at the RV Life mobile app today with the assumption that you have at least logged into RV Trip Wizard and has created trips or has started creating a trip. Uh, we're going to first talk about the simple ad hoc features of the app, then we'll show how it integrates with RV Trip Wizard. The first step in logging into the mobile app, of course, is downloading it from the App Store. Uh, you can search either the Apple Store or the Google Play Store by just typing in RV Life GPS. Uh, once the app is downloaded, uh, we'll open it up. The first thing you must do, and the most important, is to correctly log in with your RV Trip Wizard credentials, uh, or we might say your RV Life credentials. Uh, this is the email and password you've used successfully to log in to RV Trip Wizard. Be careful here because your phone will try to help you. It may pre-fill those credentials or that email address field with what it thinks you want to use uh, rather than the same exact ones you need for RV Trip Wizard. Um, if you log in with those other credentials, uh, you'll find that you don't have a paid account, uh, the app's going to ask you to pay or buy again, and uh, it won't sync up with the trips you've created. Um, if this happens to you, you need to log out and then log back into the app with your RV Trip Wizard credentials. To do this, tap on Profile and Account Settings, scroll all the way to the bottom, and choose Sign Out. Uh, when you do sign in again using those correct credentials, uh, you may be asked to provide your RV dimensions again. Although you have already entered those into RV Trip Wizard, the app will need them as well. Uh, this is to provide you an RV safe route. Eventually, we'll automate that process to pull those dimensions from RV Trip Wizard and save you a step. Uh, but for now, just enter the same dimensions uh, or choose the RV from the pre populated list that you did with RV Trip Wizard. Uh, if your RV is not listed for some reason, just enter those dimensions manually. To reiterate, a paid subscriber will not be asked to pay again. It's that simple. If you've signed in and you're seeing uh, being asked to pay again, sign out and sign back in. If you still have trouble after that, then contact our support team and uh, we'll figure out what's going on. Uh, once you've signed into the app with the correct credentials, you'll find that it will stop asking you for money, which is a good thing. A quick note, if you have not yet purchased RV Life Pro, we highly recommend you do so from the internet side, from the website. Uh, either rvlife.com or rvtripwizard.com uh, and purchase it there as opposed to kind of fumbling through the app store and doing it on the mobile side. Once you sign in, you'll have a seven-day trial uh, to make sure you like the product. Uh, if you're watching this, hopefully uh, you already do. 
um, but you'll have seven days to give that a try and then you'll be billed after that and you'll build annually uh, automatically. Uh, that can be changed in the billing settings, um, but we really recommend you go to the website and do that purchasing process from there. Now that we're logged in, uh, we said we'd talk about the ad hoc features first. Uh, so let's do that. Uh, the typical view when you first log in is the campground map view. Uh, just like an RV trip wizard, you can filter these campgrounds, look at reviews, ratings, photos, and more. Uh, once you decide on a location, you can tap it, choose directions, verify your RV is selected, uh, adjust any options here, and then view those RV friendly directions. This is a simple ad hoc function the app provides to find a campground quickly. Uh, perhaps you wanted to take the RV out for the weekend a few hours from the house. Uh, you know, you don't really need a trip planner for that, right? Uh, you just want to find a campground and get on the road. This feature is perfect for that. Uh, another simple ad hoc feature is the direct entry RV Safe GPS. Uh, just tap on RV Safe GPS in the menu and enter your address or even uh, GPS coordinates, wherever it is you're trying to go. Uh, and then just hit go to view the RV friendly directions. Uh, this is a very simple GPS function uh, that gives you RV safe routing. Again, no trip planning involved here. The last ad hoc feature I want to tell you about is the search and explore. Uh, this is a great tool for finding campgrounds, rest areas, and fuel in a pinch. Um, this is helpful, for example, if your journey changes unexpectedly uh, and you need to scramble to find fuel or a campground or a rest area. Uh, of course, it shows you the weather at your current location here on top. Uh, next are nearby campgrounds. Uh, you can see that you can page through these. Uh, below that are rest stops that are nearby, followed by fuel. Uh, a bit farther down, you'll see campgrounds that are about an hour away, uh, followed by two hours, and so on. The idea is to make this information as automatic and handy as possible, all based on your exact GPS location at the moment. Uh, you'll also find a list of your favorite places, as well as access to our many RVing articles. The greatest feature in the RV Life GPS app is, of course, its integration with RV Trip Wizard. The ability to automatically read those detailed trips you've planned and created in RV Trip Wizard, and then navigate them without having to buy a special RV GPS or spend any time typing addresses in or doing some complicated import or export process is a game changer. Most RVers will want to take their time and create a detailed trip plan using RV Trip Wizard. Uh, using the large screen on your computer, laptop, or tablet, uh, you can add all your campgrounds, your fuel stops, your rest areas, anything else you want to add to your trip. When it comes time to navigate that trip and hit the road, uh, you'll find that the RV Life GPS and Campgrounds app is uniquely suited to handle that. Assuming you've signed in correctly again, tap on the red bar at the bottom and choose RV Trip Wizard. Your phone will automatically read your trips from the cloud and show them in the app. Simply tap on the trip you wish to take and start the navigation. Note that only active trips are visible on the phone and they must have a starting and an ending point. Tentative trips, archive trips, and trips with no route won't show up. Unlike an external GPS, there are no complicated download, upload, or conversion processes to go through. As long as you log in correctly, your trips are automatically populated into your phone. One of the options we give you in the app, if you wish to do so, is the ability to download all of your map and trip data ahead of time using the download button. It's important to note that this is not mandatory. Depending on where you live and where you're going, this is usually not even necessary. However, if you're at all concerned about losing your cell connection uh, on the road in an unfamiliar area, you can download all of the map data to your mobile device ahead of time while you're on home or campground Wi-Fi. In our example here, I'm not going to bother downloading the data. I'm simply going to start navigation. I can do this by tapping on the red right angle arrow next to the destination I wish to go to first, typically the first destination. Uh, once I tap that, I get this familiar screen we saw in the ad hoc demo. Before we tap on View RV Friendly Directions, uh, let's talk about these settings for just a moment. If you choose a setting here that is different from what you have set in RV Trip Wizard, your route could be different. 
Uh, it will still be RV safe, but it could be different than what you planned. Uh, it's best to keep these settings the same that you have them in RV Trip Wizard. Uh, of course, RV Trip Wizard is a planner, not a live GPS, uh, so it does not have this avoid traffic option like your mobile device will. When I'm ready to go, I tap the RV friendly directions and it will build a route. Uh, you may see an alternate route suggested uh, as well as an alternate automotive or car route. Uh, obviously, if you're driving or towing an RV, you probably don't want to choose one of those. However, uh, smaller RVs like a camper van uh, might have the luxury of choosing whichever route suits them best. At this point, you'll hit start and you're on your way. Uh, a quick note about estimated arrival times. Whereas an automotive GPS or a Google Maps might estimate your trip to be, say, three hours, uh, the RV Life app will most likely be a more inflated estimate, maybe as high as 30% more. This is because the RV Life app knows you're driving or towing an RV. Uh, it knows your zero to 60 time is closer to 90 seconds uh, instead of 13, uh, and it knows it takes longer to slow down and that you usually aren't driving at the highest posted speed limit. As you drive, it does recalculate and bring that estimate more in line with your expected arrival. Now, suppose you're tooling along, enjoying your drive, and you see a sign on the highway to come see the world's largest ball of twine. Uh, the problem is that ball of twine is 15 miles down the other highway. Uh, that's not on your trip. But you have plenty of time to go see it and you want to. So simple, just stop the navigation and go see the ball of twine. After a bit of twine enlightenment, uh, lunch, and a $10 magnet, you're ready to hit the road again. Simply pull up your trip, scroll down to the destination you're headed to, and the RV Life app will recalculate your route to the next destination based on where you are right at that moment. Another scenario might be simply skipping a stop. Uh, suppose you're coming up on a planned rest area, but the kids are asleep and your next destination's not that far away and you just want to skip that rest area and keep driving. Uh, just stop the trip, tap on the next destination, and pick up where you left off. What do you do if there's a sudden change in your trip? For example, uh, perhaps you're on a waiting list for a really nice campground that was full and told them to call you if someone cancels. So you're driving along and you get that call. Uh, if that reservation is for that same day, simply stop the trip and use one of the ad hoc methods uh, to get you to that nice campground safely. You can pick up your trip plan once your stay is over by tapping on the next destination. If that schedule change is a few days out, you can always log into RV Trip Wizard that evening and make a permanent change to your trip with your computer or tablet. The change will be reflected automatically the next time you open the trip in the RV Life app. In a pinch, of course, you could make that change in RV Trip Wizard on your phone using a mobile browser like Safari or Chrome. Understanding the full capability and the power of this amazing one-two combo of RV Trip Wizard and the RV Life app is simply a matter of wrapping your head around the terms. RV Trip Wizard is a trip planning tool you use on your laptop or tablet. The RV Life GPS and Campgrounds app is an ad hoc campground finder and RV Safe GPS and has the ability to read and navigate the trips you plan in RV Trip Wizard.